What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Another edition for you tonight. We got a great cigar that is very rare. If you can find it, get it, smoke it. Today, we are going to smoke something that has been aged eight years plus. Caldwell, Lost and Found, The Cookie Monster. Like I said, this has been aged for eight years plus. The origin is Dominican Republic. The strength is mild to medium. The wrapper is Habano. The binder is Sumatra. The filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican. This is a seven inch by 38 ring gauge. And this was gifted to me by the homie Stephen Lee at Ohlone Cigar Lounge. Thanks brother. I'll do you well with a good review on this bad boy. And this is my first time smoking this one. Like I said, if you can get your hands on one of these, do it. This is also a Lancero. So we have a nice light milk chocolate color of the wrapper. It's got a little oiliness to it. Nice smooth texture to the touch. Feels nice and thick. Not that many veins to get in the way there. The cap is constructed nicely. Little imperfection at the top, but we will be cutting that off when we get ready to smoke. Let's check out the aroma of the wrapper. Nice rich earth. A little sweetness and possibly cocoa there, and some hay. Let's check the full of cigar. Got some rich earth, some grass, and a little bit of spice. This has been sitting in the humidor for a few months, so it's well humidified. It's nice and spongy, not too soft, a little firmness. Doesn't feel like there's any knots in this one, so we shouldn't have any problems with the draw. The foot is nicely rolled nice and tight not too loose so this should be a great stick to smoke we are going to use a straight cut to cut this one all right let's take some dry puffs we're getting some rich earth some tea and a touch of leather very smooth the draw is nice a nice flow shouldn't be any problems during the smoke all right let's go ahead and light it up with a single torch but first check out this new dual torch from some flip the bad boy up you got a soft flame a soft flame there and you hit the button on the side turns into a single torch so let's check it out So on the first few puffs here, we're getting some nice cocoa, unsweetened. We're getting some nice crunchy graham cracker in there, a little bit of oak and some white pepper. Not too bad so far. So here you are about 15 minutes in, real smooth smoke, nice and crisp, really smooth flavor. This cigar is good so far. Get that nice graham cracker, get that rich earth, some hay, touch of pepper and that cocoa. So far, so good. Steven, yo, yes. Let's check that Retro Hell. Retro Hell has some zestiness to it. Some lemon and zest. Really good, a little tangy. Yeah, get this cigar. So about 30 minutes in, the smoke has got real rich, a little thicker and heavier. Very nice on the palate. Leaves like a little creamy pudding kind of notes on the tongue. Real smooth and buttery. The flavor is rich. It's smooth. It's easy on the palate. Not harsh at all. As now we're well into the second third of the cigar. Still real smooth and creamy. The ash is a night white grayish color. Rich soil it was growing in. We're getting some rich buttery crackers, some wood, some white pepper, and real rich earth. Kind of have a heavy tobacco taste that's rich, smooth, and creamy. The smoke is still full and heavy. This is a mild to medium, but it has full body smoke. Very rich, very heavy in the mouth, very, very thick. So far, really good cigar. It's one of those ones that'd be hard to put down. As you see, the burn is fairly even all the way around the cigar here. The 
Retro Hell has some lemon zest and mint in the second third. Nice and cool, kind of tangy, really smooth, a little bit of a sting from the zest of the lemon, but otherwise real smooth and flavorful. Just remove the band, and you got cookies in the Cookie Monster's eyes. Cool band. As it also has Lost and Found printed on the side. Now we're well into that final third. We're getting some rich hay, heavy, fresh cut grass, some strong wood, bark, some smooth white pepper spice. It's lingering on the tongue very nicely, very smooth, very rich, very mellow. Man, incredible. So overall, I'm gonna give this a 93. Well balanced, well put together, very smooth. The flavors meshed very well throughout the cigar. No nicotine hit whatsoever. Can't feel the nicotine once throughout this smoke. Very smooth, very rich. The flavors meshed well, very well balanced through the first, second, and into the last third here. Retro Hell still has that zingy lemon peel. It's smoothed out a little, not as strong as it was in the second third. The smoke is still nice and full, started off light, got full as we got into the second third, and it's very full and rich into the final third. Overall, this is a complete cigar, just if they were in everyday production and sold. The strength never kicked up, stayed into a mild and medium range. The draw was very good throughout the whole cigar, never got hot once. The burn was real even through the whole smoke. All around a great cigar, man. This is probably one of the closest to near perfect cigars I've smoked in so far. So Steven, thank you, brother. I'm gonna need a box. <laughs> so like I said, if you can find them, grab them. Eight plus years aged, yeah. This is a good steak. You don't taste the age on it. It's very mellow and smooth. Caldwell's, Lost and Found, The Cookie Monster. If you guys enjoy these reviews, please hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Follow me on Rumble. You can even follow me on TikTok now, Smoke in the Bay. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me. And like I said, you could find this cigar. I'm going to be a broken record. Get it. Find it. Grab them. Great cigar. And one more again, thank you for joining me. Enjoy what you're smoking. Happy smoke, player. Peace.